Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Morrowind. I am Marcel, and only one person from Caius Cosades' list remains. Mera Milo, a temple priestess. However, I should also try to find Caius Cosades. Oh, what's his name? I know he starts with C. This guy in Halalu Canton. So that I could get rid of some guy who sells wares in front of uh, an enchanter. Okay. But I know where the temple core is. That is the temple quarter. Let's have a, a nice slide down. Too nice a slide down. <laughs> I didn't want to slide all the way down. Now I have to slide all the way up. And what's in that barrel? A bunch of ingredients. Whatever. What should I submit to them? Some forms? You may speak. You're not just a regular nerve. Uh, I mean, Indoreal uh, Guard. You have a name! <laughs> so, what did he tell me about Meramilo? Nothing. Eh. Library. Vivek. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Hmm. 
the underworks. Let's Arby. not make this official, Outlander. Move along. She works in the library. So either library or door across from canon office. Not now, Outlander. Where they Head canonize on. stuff. Submit to the three, the spirits and thy lords. I'm not going to break into her quarters. Not yet, anyway. Let's go to the library instead. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Okay, let's go. Let's not make this official outlander move along. Make it quick, outlander. Okay, can you wrote the progress? Perhaps Jobasha? I'm not going to steal from here, that would be again stupid. Yeah. Jobasha's rare books might have the progress of truth. Lee. Ah, no, I should be going north. Speak, traveler. Let's not give your official trouble. Does running Almost on that. top of policeman's head count as under sun trouble? and sky, Outlander? We greet you warmly. Saint Delin, I am looking for Hlalu Canton. And also saving. Because of that one guy who wants to be a part of a troop. Watch yourself. We'll have no trouble. 
but I can't see myself, Mr. Ordinator. How can I watch myself when I can't see myself? Why is there only one bridge? Am I in now? Red run, but I want in to be in Lalu. To speak with Mr. Curio, who surely has curiosities. And I suspect that one is Lalu. He was sliding down. If you're here for trouble, you'll get more than you bargained for. Uh, I think they told me in the plaza. So let's go to the plaza. Ain't good. I just fell through the geometry. Luckily, I wasn't hurt, but still. Watch yourself. We'll have no trouble here. Well, I had trouble here. I just fell through the floor. A mansion here, a splendid mansion. Is what this is this mansion? regarding Breton? It's regarding the entire uh, but this law of Bretony. Yeah, I am in the manor. I know about the manor, I am in it right now. I'm just looking for him. I'm listening. Okay. Lost the Argonian maid. Is 
sorry, I am not interested, Mr. Kuria. However, I can now speak to someone who might be. At least in the troop. If not in you personally. Mas Sarah. How do I get out of here? That way. How do I get where I want? Foreign quarter is where I want to go and it's there. Mm. There is only one bridge to it. And that's what ordinators matter to themselves all the time. All of it. And yeah, there is only one bridge. What is this regarding Breton? Hello? I must be going, so if you could make it quick. Of oh, dead guy. Yeah. He may want you to grab his purse. I got rid of the annoying fool. Iron shard skewer. Okay, what is that? A blade? A spear. An iron spear versus my iron spear, which is more damaging, but this one is more freezer, I think. Do you sell anyway? Some soul gems. A lot of scrolls. I mean, a lot of shades. Water walking, but only for twenty seconds. Fortitude. Scroll of Black Death. Nah, I am not going to uh, do deadly diseases. This might be worth it. Sell you back nothing, I guess. Okay, 
Now? Did you buy us rare books? Outlander, what do you want? And this is the wrong direction. You may speak. Watch yourself. We'll have no trouble here. Attention, Breton. The changed ones, or possibly the charged ones. Small fork. So many Barenzias. Keep moving. Yeah, it's just a golden mask. These limeware platters are pretty expensive. What do you want? I want a rare book. And I see you have many books. Unfortunately, you don't care. So do you have the progress of truth? The pilgrim's path you do, but not the progress of truth. Pilgrim's Path, P.I. So, and the real Barenzia, yeah. Unless it's just progress of truth without the... No, vampires. The old ways. O.P.Q. Oh, you do have progress of truth. And I might not be rich enough to buy it. Unless I sell the last Argonian maid. No, I am still not rich enough to buy it. Meaning I have to first sell something else to someone else. We're watching you. Blessed we Okay, I I might sell some potions. This is an honor for me. Keep moving. Jabasha, I am looking for a particularly rare book. Ask if you must. But first I have to rest. <laughs> oh, those are whiskers not saber tooth right right now, outlander head on i think your inventory changed since last time but whatever now that i have the progress of truth I can levitate <laughs> and walk on the ordinator. Oh, I fell. At 
Let's read it. First, the last the Argonian made. Oh, good. There is only one scene. Now the progress of truth. Concerning the points of temple doctrine challenged by the dissident priests. The divinity of the tribunal. Temple doctrine claims their apotheosis was miraculously achieved through questing, virtue, knowledge, testing and battling with evil. Temple doctrine claims their divine powers and immortality are ultimately conferred as a communal judgment by the Denver ancestors, including, among others, the good Daedra, the prophet Veloth and Saint Nerevar. Dissident priests asked whether Dagoth Ur's powers and the tribunal powers might ultimately derive from the same source, Red Mountain. Sources in the uh, Apographa suggest that the tribunal relied profanely on profanely enchanted tools to achieve Godhead, not Godhood, Godhead, and that those unholy devices were the only were the ones originally created by the ungodly Dwemer sorcerer Kagdrenak to create the false construct Numidium. I'd just like to point out that uh, Numidium was a real construct, not a false one. The purity of the tribunal. The dissident priests say that the tribunal has always maintained a public face, represented by the hierographa, the priestly writings, and a hidden face, represented by the apographa, the hidden writings. The public account portrays the actions of the tribunal in a heroic light, while the hidden writings reveal secrets, untruths, inconsistencies, conflicting accounts and varying interpretations which hint at darker and less he heroic motives and actions of the tribunes. In particular, conflicting accounts of the battle at Red Mountain raise questions about the tribunal's conduct and about the source of their subsequent apotheosis. Also, there is good evidence that the tribunal have been concealing the true nature of the threat posed by the Goth Ur at the Red Mountain. Misleading the people about the tribunal's ability to protect Morrowind from Dakot Ur and concealing a recent dramatic diminishing of the tribunal's magical powers. Temple accounts of the Battle of Red Mountain A slender tradition does not place the tribunal at Red Mountain and holds that the Dwemer destroyed themselves rather than Nervar destroyed them. A slender tradition further holds that Nerval er, left Dagoth Ur guarding the profane secrets of Red Mountain, while Nerval went to confer with the Grand Council, i.e. the Tribunal, that Nerval died at the conference, not of his wounds according to the Ashlanders, but from treachery, and that subsequently the Tribunal confronted a defiant Dagoth Ur within Red Mountain, then drove Dagoth Ur beneath Red Mountain while it, when he would not yield to their will. Veneration of the Daedra, Saints and Ancestors While challenging the divinity of the tribunal, the dissidents do not challenge the sainthood or heroism of the tribunal. In fact, the dissident priests advocate restoring many of the elements of fundamentalist ancestor worship as practiced by the Ashlanders and by Saint Velos. Exactly how this would work is debated inconclusively within the dissident priests. Denial of the prophecies of the incarnate and persecution of, Nerevari, of the Nerevarines. Though no consensus exists among the dissidents about whether the Nerevarine prophecies are genuine, all agree that the persecution of the Nerevarines is unjust and politically motivated. The dissident priests do not reject mysticism, revelation or prophecy as part of the religious experience. Uh, mysticism is a type of magic though. The dissidents have not resolved the issue of true or false insights. They have studied the mysticism of the Ashlander ancestor cults, in particular rites of the Ashlander seers and wise women, and the prophecies of the incarnate. 
Many among the dissident priests have come to believe that the Nerevarian prophecies are genuine and have made a systematic study of prophecies recorded in the temple archives. Authority of the Archcanon and the Ordinators The dissident priests reject the authority of the Archcanon and the Ordinators. The temple hierarchy has been corrupted by self-interest and politics and no longer acts in the best interests of the temple or its worshippers. The dissident priests believe the Archcanon and the Ordinators speak for themselves, not for the tribunal. The, the Inquisition and the use of terror and torture by the Ordinators Within the temple hierarchy, it is an open secret that the ordinators rely on abduction, terror, torture and secret imprisonment to discourage heresy and dissent. The dissident priests feel the ordinators are either out of control or tools used to maintain a corrupt priesthood in power. Fundamentals of the temple doctrine Charity for the poor, education for the ignorant, protection for the weak. Though the dissident priests acknowledge that most rank and file priests honor the best traditions of the temple, they believe that many priests in higher ranks are interested more in love of authority and luxury than in the welfare of the poor, weak and ignorant. And now that I have read it, yeah, it's past the half hour, so yeah, I'll get out of this you honor me. bookstore. And see you in episode 24. For now, goodbye.